Well, hi, y'all. This is amateur artist Mark D. Chandler coming at you once again for Manland. And here's what I consider a quick tip. Being that I work at a grocery store, I like things that have dual purposes when it comes to camping and, say, bushcraft, survival, that type of thing. Y'all recognize this? This happens to be some butcher string, butcher string. And now this right here is an old road that we had here at the store. Got a little dirty, a little bit of blood on there. Keeping a little bit of this string right here in your backpack out there when you're out there doing your thing. I'm going to show you something. Got my survivor knife here. This has real good tinsel strength. I mean real good. I have no idea there's no packaging on it. That's stout stuff. But what this is designed to do is to tie out roasts and things like that for cooking purposes. It's designed for high heat. Uh, but it is made out of cotton. It's also a very good fire starter. Keeping a good little piece of string like that in your backpack there is kind of lightweight and it could come in handy. Let's say you got your grill going out there, you know, your fire pit, whatever you happen to have. And you may want to try doing some kind of spit roasting out there. Well, that's what the string is designed to do is to help tie the animal up. Good stuff. But as a fire starter, what I've discovered is by taking this string and folding it several times, sort of like that right there let's get you down where you can see it here on the table what I'm going to do is take this survivor knife and just kind of run it at an angle like your finger here I'm going to be running it kind of like at an angle like this you know what I'm left handed let's try it right handed so the camera can pick it up There we go. Now we're shaving it. Now we've got ourselves a nice little fluffy cotton ball on the end. We got us a little bit of wind out here. Here's the striker for the survival knife. There we go. That took several hits. But that stuff has something in there besides cotton added to it, some type of synthetic. But that there is your quick tip here from Manland. Now it's made of cotton, it's got something else in there with it. It's probably treated with something. But if you take your time and fluff it up just right, even though it took me a few strikes, it is flammable and it does burn for relatively a longer time than just pure cotton. This is amateur artist Mark D. Chandler wishing you and y'all a happy YouTube experience out there. Take care of yourselves now. Bye-bye.